our goal with Optimus is to have a, a robot that is maximally useful as quickly as possible. As automation becomes more prevalent, there is concern that Tesla robots are replacing human workers. However, the reality is that robots are simply filling in where there are labor shortages or where jobs are considered undesirable by human beings. These roles include stacking boxes, cleaning floors, and weeding fields. In general, Tesla robots will be capable of much more than simple tasks. They can also perform complex operations, such as identifying fraud and assisting doctors with diagnoses. The U.S. economy stands to benefit greatly from automation as labor costs in the United States are higher than in many other countries due to the cost of living. This has led to many factories choosing to relocate outside of the U.S. But the robotics revolution can make the U.S. a leader in production once again. The advances in large deep learning models such as OpenAI's GPT-3 have revolutionized the chatbot industry. But what about physical robots? Two tech giants, Google and Microsoft, have recently disclosed their research on integrating similar AI models to robots, and the results are astounding. This week, Google and the Berlin Institute of Technology published POM-E, an AI model that combines language and vision capabilities to control robots, enabling them to perform tasks autonomously in the physical world. From retrieving a bag of chips from a kitchen to sorting blocks by color in corners of a rectangle, POM-E has demonstrated its ability to command robots with unprecedented accuracy and efficiency. While Tesla's focus may be on humanoid robots, it is just one type of automation that is in high demand. Robots of all types are being sought after, as long as they can alleviate labor-intensive tasks. The current shortage of labor and increasing consumer demands have put pressure on factories and warehouses, creating a greater need for automation. Whether it's industrial robots, collaborative robots, advanced robots, or more traditional machines, the demand for automation has never been higher. As automation technology advances, some people worry that it will lead to widespread job losses, especially in manufacturing. This fear is not unfounded, as the automotive industry has already seen a significant reduction in human employment due to automation. Companies like General Motors, Toyota, and BMW now rely on robots to perform many tasks, from welding to assembly. However, despite the reduction in the workforce, the automotive industry continues to be a significant contributor to the economy. Automation has enabled companies to increase efficiency and productivity, ultimately driving higher profits and growth. With robots capable of performing tasks with greater speed and precision than humans, and without the need for salaries or benefits, it's no wonder why businesses are turning to automation. But is the transition to a more automated workforce inevitable? Robots have the potential to make our lives much better, but the safety concerns surrounding them should not be underestimated. While the physical harm that robots can cause is one aspect of the issue, the possibility of losing control over them is another. This is not a new concept, as renowned physicist Stephen Hawking warned of the dangers of super-smart robots powered by artificial intelligence. In fact, Hawking suggested that humans could eventually face extinction due to our inability to keep up with the evolution of machines. Despite these warnings, the development of robots continues to progress at a rapid pace. One notable example is Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus, which has undergone significant upgrades since its unveiling last year. The Tesla robot is almost here, and many people are still not sure how much it will cost. According to experts in the field, the Tesla robot's expected price of $20,000 may not be as affordable as it seems due to the high cost of the hardware used in its construction. An industry insider explains that the cost of a robot is determined from the very beginning of the design phase, and starting with cheap materials is the easiest way to keep the cost down. However, Tesla failed to follow this principle in the production of Optimus. The company used two of the most expensive actuator types on the market, namely the roller screw and the harmonic drive, which are crucial in controlling the robot's motion. While the harmonic drive actuators increase torque, roller screws toggle between linear and rotational motion. Kernbaum points out that every humanoid robot typically has 28 to 32 of these expensive actuators, posing a significant cost challenge for Tesla. 
Tesla's entry into the humanoid robotics industry has sparked fierce competition with established tech companies such as Sony and Samsung. While Samsung is still in the research and development phase, its technological capabilities suggest that it is only a matter of time before it releases a product. As it stands, humanoid robots from Asia appear to have a technological edge over those from the United States. However, Tesla's Optimus, utilizing the same technology as the company's driver assistance systems, has the potential to shake up the industry and propel the US to the forefront of the field. The race for the top spot in the humanoid robotics industry is on, and only time will tell who will come out on top. When it was revealed by Elon Musk, the renowned robotics experts criticized Tesla's humanoid robot, saying it is ill-prepared to interact with humans. According to one such expert, the robot's movements appear too robotic and lack the grace and subtlety of human movement. This poses a serious problem as the robot could easily break if the environment behaves differently from its expectations. Meanwhile, Tesla's director of engineering admitted that the robot is not as useful as it should be. Similarly, the Optimus prototype, which cannot walk or perform complex tasks, has been criticized for its lack of functionality. Nevertheless, enthusiasts hope that the robot will soon be able to navigate stairs and pick up boxes while performing tasks in homes and factories. Many people in the US believe that Tesla and Boston Dynamics are the only companies involved in the production of humanoid robots, but this is far from the truth. In fact, Tesla's competitors, Honda and Toyota, have been in the industry for quite some time and are getting significant results overseas. While the Tesla robot has yet to walk, Honda's Asimo and Toyota's THR3 are capable of complex activities such as throwing a basketball. In addition, Boston Dynamics, owned by Hyundai, has produced humanoid robots that are capable of performing acrobatic maneuvers. While Tesla may seem behind in the race for advanced humanoid robots, it's important to note that the company's CEO, Elon Musk, has announced that their upcoming robot Optimus will utilize the same technology that powers Tesla's driver assistance system. This suggests that the Tesla robot could potentially surpass its current competitors, while other companies like Boston Dynamics have already created highly agile, advanced humanoid robots capable of impressive feats like acrobatics. Tesla's focus on incorporating their existing AI technology could give them an edge in the industry. The Tesla robot, which bears some resemblance to the human body, features a design that includes a head, arms, legs, and hands. Unlike humans, its brain is situated in its torso. Additionally, the robot comes equipped with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that provides a full day's worth of use on a single charge. That is augmented by 28 structural actuators that enable the robot to move with ease. Notably, if the robot falls, it sustains minimal damage thanks to its actuators. Six of the actuators are located in the arms, allowing for 11 degrees of freedom and effective grasping capabilities. However, the robot's range of motion in the hands is less than half of that of a human. During Tesla's AI Day in September last year, the company unveiled not one, but two robots, Optimus and Bumble C. While Bumble C walked on stage in a manner that resembled tiptoeing around a sleeping baby, Tesla CEO Elon Musk claimed that the robot could do more than just walk. However, the focus of the event was on Optimus, who had the appearance of a knight, but was moved on wheels and could not walk. During its brief appearance on stage, Optimus did a dance and waved at the crowd. Musk admitted that the prototype was not as good as what they had planned to produce, but was very close. While Bumble C was not the highlight of the event, it was still an impressive feat of engineering. Tesla's new robot is really a capable one. Considering it will use a fully trained AI brain, you will be surprised to know how fast it is coming into fruition. The Tesla's robot Precise Grasp allows it to handle tools such as screwdrivers with ease. The metallic tendons in its fingers enable it to grasp objects with strength, while sensors help identify what it's holding for efficient manipulation. With its tendon strength, it can hold up to a 20-pound bag with ease. However, despite its impressive grasp capabilities, experts in the field of robotics have raised concerns over the design of the robot's hands. In the words of experts, the hand design was quite basic, and the majority of time and focus of Tesla should be spent on the hand and dexterous manipulation.